The ocean. A vast and mysterious place. With depths that reach up to 36,000 feet. At these depths, the pressure is immense, and the temperature is near freezing. These extreme conditions make it difficult for life to exist, but some species are able to survive in these environments. Some of the most mysterious life forms found in the ocean include giant squid, deep sea anglerfish, and viperfish. There could also be unknown species lurking in the depths that have yet to be discovered. Throughout history, people have always been fascinated with what might be lurking below the surface. Although we can now explore the depths below the sea, there are still places that are unreachable. What could be down there? Are there creatures hiding and eluding our view? Do they sometimes venture up to the surface to explore? These questions have been on our minds for centuries. We've called these creatures various things, such as sea monsters or sea serpents. The most famous sea monster sightings include reports of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland, the Kraken off the coast of Norway, and a giant octopus in the Pacific Northwest. Other famous sea creatures include the giant squid, Ogopogo in Canada, and the sea serpent sightings of HMS Daedalus near the island of Tristan de Cunha in 1848. The HMS Daedalus was a British sloop of war that was sent on a scientific exploration mission to the South Atlantic in 1848. A fifth-rate frigate is a small two-masted warship used by the Royal Navy during the 18th and 19th centuries. It was typically equipped with between 30 and 44 guns and had a crew of about 200 men. It was used for convoy duty, anti-piracy operations, and scouting missions. Fifth-rate frigates were smaller and faster than larger ships of the line but were still heavily armed and capable of engaging in combat. During the voyage, the crew of the Daedalus reported sighting a sea monster near the island of Tristan de Cunha. The ship was captained by Captain McQuay. He was responsible for the navigation of the ship and for the charting of the region. On August 6, 1848, he reported seeing a creature like an enormous serpent. The creature was described as being about 90 feet long, with a serpent-like body, a long neck, and four large flippers. The creature was also said to have an elongated head, resembling an alligator. Seven members of the crew also saw the same thing, and reported that the monster remained in view for almost 20 minutes. The sighting has remained one of the most famous sea monster mysteries. It has never been confirmed, and no one has seen this monster since. So, what did they see? Is there really a 90-foot sea serpent lurking under the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa? Does it circle between the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena Island? Does it become curious from time to time and make its presence known by surfacing near ships? Sea serpents are large mythical sea creatures that have been reported by sailors and fishermen since ancient times. They are described as having a long serpent-like body, a long neck, and four large flippers. Some reports describe them as having an elongated head resembling an alligator. Sea serpents are believed to live in the depths of the ocean and have been seen in various parts of the world. What do people believe that the crew of the Daedalus saw? The Daedalus sea serpent is an elusive creature said to inhabit the oceans around the world. It is described as a large, serpentine creature with a long whip-like tail. Despite its mysterious nature, there are several theories as to what the creature might be. One of the most popular theories is that the Daedalus sea serpent is a giant oarfish. Oarfish are known to grow to lengths of up to 50 feet, making them the longest bony fish in the world. They have long, thin bodies and, if seen from the right angle, could appear to be serpentine in nature. Another popular theory is that the Daedalus sea serpent is a giant squid. Giant squids can grow to lengths of up to 43 feet and have long, whip-like tentacles. They are also known to inhabit the depths of the oceans, which could explain why sightings of the creature are so rare. A third theory is that the Daedalus sea serpent is a plesiosaur. Plesiosaurs were marine reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era and could grow to lengths of up to 50 feet. Despite going extinct millions of years ago, some believe that a few specimens could still exist in the depths of the oceans. Further, some believe that the Daedalus sea serpent is a cryptid, or an animal that is not yet recognized by science. 
Cryptids are often described as being mysterious creatures with unique physical characteristics, which could explain why sightings of the Daedalus sea serpent are so rare. More recently, more and more people agree that what the crew saw that day back in 1848 was most likely a say whale. The Sabaline whale is a large, pelagic whale that is found in the waters of the North Pacific, North Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. It is a member of the baleen whale family, which means that it has a row of baleen plates in its mouth that it uses to filter food out of the sea. The say whale is one of the fastest whales, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles per hour when swimming. It is also one of the largest whales, reaching lengths of up to 55 feet and weights of up to 40 tons. Say whales are dark gray in color with white patches on their bellies and fins. They feed mainly on schools of small fish and krill, but can also feed on large squid and other cephalopods. Photos of the Sabaline whale seem to resemble the description that was given during interviews after the sighting, from which drawings were created to show the world what creature the crew witnessed. Did we just solve the mystery? It's quite likely that modern research would agree with this conclusion. No matter what the creature is, the mystery of the Daedalus sea serpent continues to captivate the imagination of many. It is one of the greatest sea mysteries out there still with lots of debate. Has this mystery been solved? Or are we still no closer to finding out the truth of what the crew saw on that August day back in 1848? Stay tuned for more mysteries coming soon.